somebody is trying to put a delivery for your name and then when you try to receive it it is a cash on delivery thing and so just think a common sense will a u.s government agency send me a threatening sms we are hardly going the teller sees us checks our id and you know does the transaction to do packet tracing network analyzer you should be able to do Welcome to the show think aloud with professor alex in this episode we will be discussing what is actually cyber security and how it is important to these days students so let us know from sir so sir uh, these days uh, students are pretty much interested in cyber security and ethical hacking is very big though in these days we can call the prominent ones so uh, please share us your insights regarding this cyber security is a very upcoming field uh, i think it is uh, it has passed the upcoming stage and it is established itself as a very prominent uh, field because more and more devices are uh, you know coming into the picture smart devices and now even the iot devices the robotic devices uh, even cars are now you know computers on wheels long as the human civilization have been there always been rogue elements so with more devices the requirement of cyber security is more you know with more fintech coming in you know we are now is hardly going to the bank we are hardly going the teller sees us checks our id and you know does the transaction we are all using otps and we are using our cell phones and mobile phone devices so more and more cyber attacks cyber thefts these things are happening so the and this requirement is exponentially more so i think this is a very uh, safe career upcoming career a career in cyber security for which Uh, a degree in computer sciences is uh, recommend however you can do degrees from other fields and come into cyber security by doing the necessary certification like the ethical hacker certification the pen testing certification you have the laboratory experiments and assignments to do packet tracing network analyzer you should be able to do uh, you know cryptography and cryptographic attacks to you know the primary key and uh, you know the public key private key you should know all these things you should know what are the algorithms for cyber security for cryptography how to crack those cyber security you know expertise cryptography uh, you know crypto attacks uh, those algorithms which are commonly used for encryption decryption all these things all these skills are a must have nowadays with uh, more and more fintech use uh, more and more digital currencies digital payments it has been come into the limelight even social media hacking attempts are happening daily there are daily attacks where in canada you know an attack kept on happening where uh, the hackers you know called as if posing as cra agents cra is the canada revenue agency then in usa they call posing as irs internal revenue services agents and they frighten people uh, in my phone almost on a daily basis i get sms you know threatening that you know you have not paid your bill you have taxes pending you have you know something um uh, pending and my first reaction is to check from which phone number this message came most of the time i see the phone number is a different country's phone number so just think a common sense will a us government agency send me a threatening sms which comes from a different country like philippines or something right it is not possible it means it's a fraudulent attack then next is many times i see messages coming to my inbox or to my sms where the email or the link hyperlink is a fraudulent hyperlink if somebody is threatening from cra shouldn't that url have cra's official url will it be some private .com space like us government site has .gov 
Canadian government sites have different uh, you know sites like CRA has different uh, URL. So, any message coming from the original source will have their URL from the original source. Number one, check the phone number is coming from an in-country phone or a foreign country. If it's a foreign country, it's fraudulent. Number two, for email attacks, check the email ID. Is it coming from a domain name? That is the official domain name of that government agency. If it's not, it's fraudulent. Number three, even if it is coming, it is showing, it's called spoofing attack, where they spoof the email ID of the original agency. Even in that case, check the link that they want you to click. Is that link going to the original website or not? If it is not, do not click on that link. Okay. So with these three quick tests, you can save yourself a lot of heartache, lot of pain, lot of, uh, you know, loss that could have happened. So summary is cybersecurity is a very, very lucrative field. There is a huge shortage of cybersecurity professionals. There is a huge requirement. So those who are doing different degrees, if you could not choose cybersecurity as a degree, then do the skilling, do the courses like the ethical hacking courses. Get the different certifications, lab experiences and internships and build your CV to showcase your cybersecurity degree, knowledge and expertise and keep on applying. Best of luck for a great cybersecurity career ahead. Sir, I would interrupt and ask you another question, which is, uh, you have just mentioned that, uh, you know, uh, when it is outside country's number, we recognize it, then only uh, we can immediately see that it is uh, a fraud message. But sometimes this happens, uh, we have got these messages, our parents have got these messages, uh, where the number belongs to India itself, and uh, there are no signs, maybe particularly saying that, uh, suppose there is a delivery person coming to our home, and uh, the delivery person messaging us, and... Uh, uh, there is some OTP related thing and he comes door to our door and he asks that uh, give us the pin. So what happens, uh, it is not definitely a paid something. So this kind of frauds are also happening. Somebody is trying to put a delivery for your name and then when you try to receive it, it is a cash on delivery thing and uh, you are giving an OTP, it is getting deducted. Many of us have uh, reported this kind of issues to cyber crime and uh, cyber set. What do you think that how can people recognize this kind of issue within our country itself? Yes, within the country, this kind of fraudulent attacks happen especially with the OTPs right. so for that first of all do not accept any parcel asking for cash on delivery unless you have ordered for it I myself have sent back many deliveries because they have asked for money and I told them I never order anything with cash on delivery I only order online so this is fraudulent number one Number two, for any parcel which doesn't ask for money, I say first put the parcel down, then I will send you the OTP. And the OTP must also come from a known source. For example, Amazon sends OTP by WhatsApp. Right. I know that, right. Right? right? And that is from the official Amazon account. Right. That is not from any right. person's individual account. So these basic common senses can help you a lot it can prevent a lot of heartache lot of pain lot of losses these basic checks and balances are very very essential thank you so much sir sir uh, iema research and development private limited iem labs actually provides courses to cyber security uh, all kind of aspects from uh, initial level to expert level so sir running these kind of uh, big things what do you think that student uh, should more oftenly be engaged with us and what kind of things we are provide like uh, from basic things that you have shared right now to expert things uh, what do you think sir yes uh I am Labs, the IMA Research and Development does offer very interesting courses in cybersecurity. There's a lot of 
courses in the uh, portfolio those of you who did not get into any cyber security degree uh, can con uh, consider these courses if you want to try out this new very lucrative field and those who are doing the cyber security degree can do these industry certifications to help your chances of getting jobs to help your chances of getting internships in cyber security domain because these are very very essential the industry certification and the hands on learning and internship experiences thank you so much for listening to our podcast feel free to like share and subscribe especially if you find this useful share it so that all your friends and colleagues can also get benefit from it and do subscribe then you can keep on getting such useful content on a daily basis thank you again keep watching uh, for students who are interested in cyber security uh, please go to imlabs.com uh, you could be seeing somewhere here and you can find every interesting thing that you're looking for thank you